More than 200 refugees resettle in Launceston each year, with 13 migrant groups now calling the northern city home. A local pub is doing its bit to embrace them, turning over its kitchen to different migrant groups for Sunday lunch. The community kitchen is proving popular with customers. The aroma of exotic spices fills the kitchen at Launceston's Inveresque Tavern as the local Bhutanese community prepares Sunday lunch. One is uh, steamed dumpling with some tomato sauce. We had a celery traditional food and I just roast chicken wings. Launceston is now home to more than 1,500 Bhutanese people. Most fled the Asian nation in the early 1990s due to political unrest and spent nearly 20 years in refugee camps in neighbouring Nepal before being resettled in Tasmania. Launceston is like home. Already I have been here, I feel like I have already been here for like years, ages ago. The Bhutanese Karat Buddhist Association is one of eight migrant groups that takes on the cooking duties at the tavern as part of the community kitchen program. We are sharing our culture, we are sharing our food and it was our happiness. It's also a chance for participants to build their skills and experience. We could learn many skills like customer service, working in a team and also we also gain like uh, communication skill. As well as Bhutan, migrant groups from Afghanistan, the Philippines, Sudan, Sierra Leone, Eritrea and the Congo take over the kitchen on a rotating basis. We want to introduce our food to the Australian community and that is why we are doing it. And then we love cooking. Dozens of customers fill the tavern for lunch each Sunday. All very different, very, very spicy with a lot of chilli, so it was very nice. It's beautiful girls coming all the time. Is there anything we could do to help? Um, do you want something else? Did you like the food? They're beautifully trained. The community kitchen is the brainchild of Charlie Rayner, who took over the tavern two years ago. Even though it is still very much, you know, a, a working class pub with, you know, cold beer and hot chips and steaks, uh, it's, for me, it's about displaying a, an openness and acceptance and a progressive attitude towards um, you know, public spaces. That is the perfect way for them to meet, is to meet them on their own territory uh, and to be able to say, yes, I would like to get to know you better because I'm eating your food. I think it's, it's a, a really nice combination. Sharing food to break down barriers. Celise Gibson, ABC News, Launceston.